Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Yes, I am out at the high school today. It is winter break here with Missy Jen. And guess what we're going to do today, huh? We're going to do a little bit of metal detecting. Let's go catch up with Missy Jen. There's the Missy. It's a good time to be metal detecting now. The ground is kind of soft from the rains that we had, but yet it's dry on top. Yeah. School's out of session for a while. Right. So we got the whole run of the joint here today. Man, it looks like somebody took a crap on the wall. What the hell is that over there, huh? Looks like somebody had explosive diarrhea on this, <laughs> on this side of there. What the hell? I don't know. Anyway, this this high school is pretty famous, isn't it? This has been yes, in a couple of Hollywood a Hollywood yeah. movies. This is a what you call it, a typical high school of the 1920s. It's been featured in several movies, most of which prominent of which is Peggy Sue got married. So it's very handsome. Santa Rosa High School. And we've always, we always come away with stuff here. So I'm going to try to be digging every signal today. I'll probably be in the back. And I'm going to leave Missy Jen up front here for a bit. So let's get the show on the road, huh, Jen? That's right. Let's find some treasures. Let's find some treasures. Let's take a little peeky-boo here before we get started. I love this, uh, what would you call this, Tudor? Tudor style architecture like you would see in the England. You'd never ever see a high school constructed like this today. They look more like maximum security prisons than institutions of higher learning. Gold Ribbon School. Can't really see too much inside. The old trophy case. I'm sure that's original flooring down there too, and all this wood. Yeah, it's probably uh, all redwood stained mahogany here. 1924. Yep, a lot of history here. Well, let's get to the rascal and get our equipment. Got our first nice signal of the day. Registering in as a uh, quarter. Let's go grab it here. Two inches deep. The ground is nice and soft for digging. Hello, Mr. Earthworm. over here. Let's see. It's a good time to... Let's see what we got. I hope we don't have a sprinkler head here. Oh, there we go. There is our first find of the day. We are on the board with a quarter, 1985. I'm searching in... Um, jewelry mode today which means we'll basically we'll be bending over a lot digging a lot of stuff scored our first dime of the day we're on what's called the uh, senior hill back here behind the high school and seniors only on this hill but a lot of kids sit up here and uh, since they are seniors they probably start to have a little better quality jewelry that's why I, kind of, I try to use a little bit of logic when I search, but so far just some coins and uh, something I really can't identify, just a, a piece of metal. I can't dig it out. That's what I got so far. I, I, it's like a little, it's like a, like a piece of jewelry. I'll try to show it to you guys later. If you're uh, ever out metal detecting and people doubt that you're digging every signal and, oh, come on, you're just going after coins and stuff, you can always tell them, show them if you've dug up any nickels, 
that's pretty much proof that your uh, your metal detecting every signal because this is so close to aluminum pull tabs from soda cans as well as foil and close to gold that um, there's proof positive that you're digging everything so we scored our first nickel and you never know when one of those signals is going to be a piece of gold jewelry. And if you want a little more clarification that they call it the uh, VDI scale. And it really is electronic vision. It's what the electronics see as opposed to your eye. And if we go closer down there, you can see ring pull tab nickel ring comes in foil small ring comes in between 10 and 40 and then you look over on the right side and you're right in the gold nuggets gold coins brass lead gold so it's one of the reasons that uh, advanced detectorists they'll just turn off the discrimination and they'll dig up every sig every single signal yeah we deal we dig a lot of trash but once in a while that one piece of gold that gold coin that gold jewelry it totally makes up for it. We're pretty deep down this one. Still cutting real nice plugs today. So everything's dropping right back into position again after the dig out. I love this probe. I'm really having to go on a hunt for this one. Ah, frustrating. Another pull tab. Woo, real metal detecting. Don't be fooled by those ones that are pulling out uh, good coins all the time and salting the feed, salting for views. This is real metal detecting. Got a pretty good signal down here. Let's see what that is, hopefully. I've been getting doing a lot of digging and not a lot of pulling today. And it's just another uh, yep, another dime. Nothing special. Keep on trucking. So another one of these surface you get a lot of these let's see what we got we don't have to go far there it is it looks like just a penny yeah just a penny surface penny the 1976d Looks like, yep. Yeah. At least it's uh, real copper and not that zinc crap. A beautiful day today. Yeah. Even, uh, even my lousiest days metal detecting are still fun to be out and about. So we'll catch up with Missy Jen in a couple minutes. Finally got uh, something decent today. A good old uh, double double coin spill. Just make sure there's nothing else down here. Oh. Seems like there's more there. Let's go ahead and dig that a little bit. Sometimes you'll have coins that stick together. And I know you guys have a hard time seeing down in the hole there. But this looks like a good old fashion coin spill which means more than one coin you know what's going on down there I've already got two in my hands 50 cents in my hand Might be a sprinkler head. Now I guess we got it up. 
Now all we got to do is find it. We just dug it out. Dang. It's getting a little hard to see in the afternoon light. Well, we kicked it out. Let's run the detector over top of it. See what we got. Man, that's strange. Well, I guess we're gonna have to plug that in and just be happy that we got a doubler here. Two stuck together. Let me see if I can separate them. I'm not even gonna be able to separate them right now, but you can see them right there. It's a good old, uh, good old double quarter spill. This looks like maybe another surface find here. Or at least not too far down. Let's go turn that over. See what we got there. Been getting lucky with a few with a few quarters lately. But I've also been hitting a lot of sprinkler heads. What's that? There we go. Nice, another quarter. Now well, at least getting something worth my while out here today, but man, I have gotten dimes galore. Close that up neat. Just right next to it. Looks like there's another one here. Wait. Signal was going off. Let's see again. down right up here we're zero in them right, let me get my little digger here this is pretty much a surface job up here come on baby Yield up your treasure. Oh, good, good, good. Another quarter. All right. Better than getting skunked. I have noticed one metal detecting tip to give you that I haven't ever heard anybody else talk about. It. And if you're going to metal detect a hill with a good slope on it. I've always found that the heaviest things like quarters come lower on the hill, which would make sense in, in rainy conditions and uh, wet soft ground, things are gravity is gonna continue to exert a force. So I'm finding a lot of quarters down here uh, in this low area of the hill. So I'm pretty happy about that. What do we have here? Our intrepid metal detector. Should have gone that ramp right there. Oh man, they sprinklered you? How bad? You want I should go take them out or something? You want me to call Frankie to come down and, uh, you know, take care of a little, uh, you know, business? Uh, how'd you do out there? Yeah, I got dimes and I got some quarters. I figure I'll go about another half hour. Now you're gonna have to go up that ramp over there, so. That's good, all right. Well, about another half hour, we'll be out of here. All right? Yeah, I said I'm gonna call Frankie. We're gonna deal with this stuff right now, okay? I'll tell you one thing. I am 
have been like raging on the quarters here lately. It's been unbelievable. This is, uh, I think, another relatively shallow one in here. Let's take a little peeky boo and turn that over. This is a little deeper. There she is. You see it pop out? Quarter mania! Is it this cute? They're arch rivals, the Montgomery Vikings. They use that grate as a Viking jail. Isn't this sweet too how they have all the areas separated. I guess that's where the freshmen can sit over there in peace without threat of being mauled. Sophomores over here and then I guess your seating gets more preferred as you move your way uh, southward here over to the uh, junior areas over here. Pretty funny. When I went to high school, we just all got stuck together. You just took your chances with the seniors. And with my size, let me tell you guys, I was always running. Woo! Right on the surface. I think this is going to be our last dig of the day here. Hopefully I'm not digging. Quarter right about there. The color of this stuff is weird. Huh? Where is it? Where are you hiding? Is that you? There you be. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go and check in with Missy Jen and wrap up our day. All right, back with the uh, Missy here. It's kind of getting the late shadows of afternoon. Missy, you want to go over your finds today? Looks pretty good. Yeah, I got. Five quarters, uh, the oldest quarter is in 1978. Even though it's very clean, it was like four inches deep. I really had to work hard for it. And then there's another old one that was really deep. <clears throat> then uh, I dug out two nickels, which I'm really proud of. It shows you're really detecting. They were really clear signals, and I really had to really dig hard for those shows were, you're digging everything they were both very deep too then what was really interesting i didn't have any dimes by the time i was gonna quit and on my way back to the car i did a little bit more detecting and i found a uh, nickel on my way to the car about an inch deep and right by the light here by the parking it was just laying on top of the grass it was smiling at me there you go. Still like brand new a dime. So, ooh, two Maybe dimes. You had fun today, a little bit of exercise, one, two, not too three, much. Four, five, six, eight, nine pennies. I didn't dig the penny signals too much because. Yeah, why Why use the effort why to get down? Why use my you know? energy for pennies when I can try to go Exactly. For We're trying to get exercise, not kill Missy That's Jen right. here. So, um, this was interesting today. I got this is my uh, quarter haul here. I got about a dollar fifty in quarters, about uh, fifteen cents, ten cents in dimes, and then a dollar something in quarters and a nickel. But Jen, you actually this thing that I dug up, which was a I thought it was a coin spilled double. Why don't you explain to people what that actually is? As you can see. There's a little string attached to that. And through the bottom, too, you can and see a little And through the knot. bottom, too. Somebody made themselves a necklace because these coins are glued with black silicone. If you want to look at the side of it, with black silicone glue. Yeah, let me see if I can get a... Uh, it's going to be hard to focus on that. But yeah. Yeah, there it is. I got it. But yep. they are glued together with black silicone. And they have a string attached to it. So they were part of either a necklace with all kinds of double quarters, which I believe it is because the string comes out on two ends. Well, mm. There it is. Very so interesting. Really so nice find. There it is. Makes so we'll call that special. our jewelry of the day. 
that's going to be a wrap for me and Missy as we go ahead and work on our next uh, big jar of dirty coins for the uh, coin star here. Not too bad for an uh, uh, afternoon, a couple hours of effort, good chance for Missy Jen to get some exercise. And you never know what you're going to find. You know, this thing thinking it's a uh, focus sum, but thinking it, it is just a couple dimes stuck together and to think that actually what it is is somebody uh, took time to try to make uh, jewelry the other day, so. Yeah, and Chester was trying to give me a shower back then. He turned the sprinklers on. Yeah, Missy Jen uh, got caught in the sprinkler system, so I called Frankie and he took care of it. You know, it ain't gonna happen again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Mwah.